Thank you, Jack. I'm here at Jenison Fieldhouse for our Hometown Heroes presentation this week, which is brought to you, as always, by Home Management Company of East Lansing. Our recipient this week is MSU's senior libero, Corey Moster. Corey, congratulations on the award. Thank you. You've had a pretty impressive run here at Michigan State. Three years as a captain of the volleyball team, two-time Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, two-time All-America selection, and you hold MSU's career record for number of digs. What's been the most memorable part of your experience here? I think the most memorable time was definitely in, to go to the Sweet 16, we beat UCLA, who was the defending national champions on their own wow. floor, which was, I mean, an awesome experience for us, but just to take our program to that next level was an experience I'll never forget. But I think especially just the relationships that I've built here with my teammates, the support staff, coaching staff, everybody, it's something that I'll treasure for a lifetime. Right. Now, you had the opportunity last year to do something really cool, I think. You qualified for and made the USA Collegiate National yeah. Team. And you had the opportunity through them to travel to China and compete in some tournaments overseas. What was that experience like? That was another experience that I'll never forget. It was something completely different than anything I'd ever experienced before. Um, that was my first time going to Asia. But as far as the volleyball, it was an experience that I needed to kind of get my exposure to the international level mm -hmm. um, to kind of prepare myself for what's next. But as far as just an overall experience, it was unbelievable. We went to see the Great Wall, the Forbidden City, wow. just so much cultural experience that not many people get to have in their lifetime. Now, this chapter of your playing career is coming to an end, but it sounds like you may have your sights set on something much bigger. What are, what are your plans moving forward? Well, on January 5th, I'm headed to Anaheim, California for a two-week training program with the national team. And what wow. it is, is it's kind of like a tryout. So it'll be 18 to 20 girls. Um, some still have eligibility and some are finished. Um, but just kind of people that they want to see more of. And, and after that, after those two weeks, I'll find out whether or not they invite me back, to, which would be in May, to train with the national team to prepare for the Olympics. That sounds exciting. We'll all be keeping an eye on Corey as she trains toward the next phase of her career, and who knows, maybe we'll get to see her represent Michigan State on the world stage in 2016. Mm -hmm. I'm Richie Carney for Press Pass Daily and Hometown Heroes. Now back to you, Jack.